Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be uh, sharing my experiences about the WGU, Western Governors University, uh, Bachelor of Science in Software Development program. And I just wanna offer some tips and advice to help you succeed. So let's get started. So um, first off, um, I wanna discuss choosing software development over computer science because I was debating the two. My mentor originally recommended that I choose software development over computer science as he believed it was more industry relevant and had less math. While I don't regret my decision, I realized later that the program lacked some of the essential computer science topics uh, like operating systems, calculus, discrete math, advanced data structures, and algorithms. Uh, so to make up for this, I had to supplement my studies with extracurricular resources, uh, a lot of leak code, a lot of YouTube videos, um, even Khan Academy for the math part. Um, so I would just, I wish that I knew that going into the program uh, because you are going to have to make up for it if you want a heavier um, computer science position or if you want to go to graduate school. Uh, so that brings me to my next point, uh, the importance of data structures and algorithms. So mastering data structures and algorithms is crucial is something I've learned because it helps you tackle coding problems on platforms like LeetCode and HackerRank. Um, I wish I had started practicing sooner. So if you're in the WG program already or considering enrolling, it's best to start studying and practicing those problems as soon as possible. Um, just remember that those problems are, you know, what's considered the whiteboard problems uh, during coding interviews. And most major tech companies are requiring them. It's just the name of the game to be able to do those puzzles. So um, in my personal experience, starting at the easy problems and just doing a couple every day is going to take you uh, a long way. And that's something that I wish I did prior to completing my degree program. So I would just get started as soon as possible if you're considering uh, a career in software engineering. So uh, my next point is uh, you get what you put into it. So remember, you only get out what you put into the program. If you want to excel and possibly get to graduate school, make sure you thoroughly understand the concepts before completing assessments. Skimming course material might get you through the program, but it won't serve you on the long run. Uh, for example, um, I was recently admitted into Georgia Tech's online Master of Science in Computer Science program. I was able to do that um, because I studied hard um, and I thoroughly understood the, the concepts, which gave me the confidence to be able to apply to that program. Uh, if you kind of uh, put in a half amount of effort while you're completing the program, it's not going to really set you up for success in the long run. You're going to finish the program and you're going to feel like, uh, well, what do I know now? Because in the technical interviews for jobs and for school, uh, it's all about demonstrating your knowledge and proving how you're, you've mastered the concepts that you've learned in school. So uh, it might be tempting, but I would say uh, do not do that. Um, so my next point is, building relationships with mentors and instructors. So establish a good connection with your program mentor and your course instructors. While they might not, well, the program mentor might not have deep technical knowledge, um, your program mentor can definitely point you in the right direction and provide valuable resources if you have questions about the program or even your classes. Um, course mentors are extremely helpful. If you have, if you have problems with um, or questions in your courses, you get stuck uh, on a performance assessment or something, you can schedule a class uh, with one, or not a class, you can schedule a call or a video chat with one of your course instructors and they'll kind of help you through the problem. It's it's totally personalized to you. It's it's private. Um, and I've, I was stuck in several ruts during my more challenging classes. And I would definitely say that the course uh, instructors helped me out. And uh, it's going to be important to kind of build relationships with them, regardless of whether or not you need the help, because eventually 
you're going to want to reach out to them after the program for recommendations or referrals or whatever you need for whether that's going to be a job application or if you're wanting to get into a graduate school. Because when I finished my program, I was able to contact my course mentors that I worked with and say, hey, I know I worked with you uh, briefly and I, I would I would love a recommendation if you can if you can help me out for uh, graduate school. And they not only gave me letters of recommendation for graduate school, but they also gave me letters of recommendation for jobs that I can submit when I'm um, when I'm uh, submitting my job applications, which can, you know, hopefully give me a competitive edge in finding something. So uh, that brings me to my next point, working at your own pace. So you can complete faster than the suggested timeline. Uh, I would use Reddit to learn from fellow students and their experiences. Simply search WGU and then the course name and then Reddit to find relevant threads. So basically, uh, when you unlock a course, when you move on to your next course, there's going to be uh, like course suggestions and like a landing page basically uh, for you to go on. And it might have like a suggested timeline or like even an accelerated timeline that's like four weeks for uh, a, a certain class, like web development or something. But in reality, even the accelerated timeline might be too long. If you really want to grind, if you have the time, then you can work actually a lot faster than those suggested timelines. I finished some of my courses in a few days because I would just spend all day just grinding in the course. And you can still, it's not like you're just skimming the course and getting nothing out of it just to pass it. You can actually learn the material and, and master the subject. It doesn't take as long as you might think it will. So uh, just keep that in mind. I, th I found Reddit to be a, definitely an invaluable resource. And if you're considering enrolling in the program or you're already enrolled, I would 100% um, be going on Reddit on almost a daily basis. Um, there's a whole WGU subreddit, um, by the way. All right, uh, so that leads me to my next point, applying for internships early. So um, I think that's something that I didn't do that I regret doing is not getting an internship earlier in the program. I kind of wasn't able to due to you know my, my, my life circumstances with working full-time and, and stuff. So if you're able to get an internship, if that's a possibility for you, I would definitely suggest trying to uh, plan that out as early as possible. Even if you're not ready for an internship, I would still consider like trying to figure out what your game plan is um, because a lot of companies hire well out in advance. Um, and then their spots fill up really quickly. Like for example, I was looking for a position at Viasat uh, for a summer internship and you know, it's May now. Um, and that's way too late because they, on their website, they said that, hey, we start hiring interns for um, summer in, in the fall. That's like almost a year out in advance. And I know some companies do it early spring as well or during the winter, but um, I would just recommend if you're wanting to get an internship or even an entry level position in like a new graduate program at a bigger company, I would 100% suggest looking into those opportunities early, going on Reddit threads, watching YouTube videos, trying to figure out um, which companies are hiring, when they're hiring. Um, that's something that I wish that I did more thoroughly. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of having to catch up with that now after having graduated in February. So um, definitely recommend that. Um, and the next advice that I have is keeping documents and learning materials. So keep your course documents and learning materials for future reference. You'll lose access to them upon graduation, so make sure that you save everything important. Also take advantage of your WGU email while you still have access to request referrals um, and recommendations and advice from mentors and instructors. Um, so yeah, that's definitely an important thing. Um, what I did is I created a folder in you know, my documents or whatever, it doesn't really matter, just a folder on your computer um, or even your Google Drive where you can just put course materials, whether that's your papers or um, things that you submitted for evaluation or just study resources, whatever is relevant to that course, just throw in that folder for later. You don't know if you're going to need it down the line. Um, maybe when you're putting together a portfolio project, you're gonna wanna have access to that or say you forget to use uh, uh, GitHub or version control when you're working on a project, you wanna still have access to your original project files 
um, so you can upload it to GitHub because the projects that you do in the program, you're going to want to have that on your portfolio. That is a 100% essential. They're even meant to be on your portfolio so uh, future employers can check out what you want to do or future schools. That is key to obtaining a job that you have projects because they're going to want to know what you did during your degree program. Um, so next off, I just want to say if you have any other um, questions or comments, please uh, put that in the comment section. I would love to hear if there's anything that else that you want me to cover. You can even ask me questions in the comment section and I will try to uh, answer them to the best of my ability. Um, so yeah, don't forget to do that. Um, so yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any further suggestions or advice, once again, um, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content. And thank you for watching and good luck in your studies.